Clavicle fractures. The clavicle is the most commonly broken bone in the body. The middle third of the clavicle is a common site for a clavicle fracture because it is the thinnest part of the bone. Fracture of the medial third is about 5%. Usually, this fracture is treated non-operatively. The middle third of the clavicle is the most common location for a fracture, and the lateral third is about 15%. The fracture in this location is a problem fracture. Patients with clavicle fractures usually have pain, swelling, bruising, and sometimes an obvious deformity, which may be present at the site of the fracture. The fracture may be displaced completely and tinting the skin. With clavicle fractures, check for possible neurovascular deficit, check for brachial plexus injury, be aware that the neurovascular bundle is very close to the clavicle. Fractures in the middle third of the clavicle, the indication of surgery is not clear, but there are some absolute indication for surgery, such as open fractures, vascular injury, tinting of the skin, and the scapulothoracic dissociation with a distracted clavicle. Injury to the brachial plexus is not an absolute indication for surgery, and the majority of these patients will improve spontaneously. There are some relative indications for surgery, such as comminuted fracture, which we use a buttress plate for it, segmental fracture, fracture shortening more than 2 cm, fracture displacement more than 100%, and the Z fracture. The Z fracture is a relative indication for surgery, and fixation of the clavicle helps in decreasing the incidence of non-union and malunion. If the Z fracture of the clavicle unites, then it will create a malunion, and dissection of the Z fracture clavicle non-union could be difficult. Therefore, early open reduction internal fixation of the Z fracture is probably better and is probably technically easier. Get x-rays of both shoulders. Bilateral panoramic views to measure the shortening could be important. Get an AP and 20 degree cephalad upshot view x-ray of the clavicle. In the x-ray, you look for shortening, for displacement, for comminution, and the Z-type fracture. In open fracture of the clavicle, there will be a high incidence of head injury, pulmonary injury, C-spine, and thoracic spine injury. Screen the patient for these conditions. What is the treatment of clavicle fractures? In fractures of the distal third of the clavicle, fracture location to the coracoclavicular ligament decides if the fracture is stable or not. If the fracture is distal to the coracoclavicular ligament, then this fracture is usually stable and it does not need surgery. But if the fracture is proximal to the coracoclavicular ligament, then fracture may have a major displacement and it may carry a high risk of non-union and this fracture probably may be helped by surgery. Although some people think that a non-union in this area may be asymptomatic in the majority of cases. So let's talk about conservative treatment. Conservative treatment can give non-union in about 15% of cases. The symptomatic malunion in displaced clavicle fracture occurs in about 10% of cases. If you are operating in all displaced mid-shaft clavicle fractures, then you are operating on seven patients to prevent one non-union. That's why the treatment of clavicle fractures may be controversial.
Most clavicle fractures can be treated without surgery, and patients with undisplaced clavicle fractures usually heal well. It is really difficult to reduce and maintain reduction in clavicle fractures. However, healing will occur despite the degree of displacement. Conservative treatment is usually done by using a sling or a figure eight strap, and it is used for minimally displaced or non-displaced clavicle fractures. There is no difference between the sling or figure eight strap in fracture reduction or fracture healing. Patient that has a sling will be non-weight bearing on that extremity and will start pendulum exercises and advance in therapy as guided by the pain. The sling is usually removed when the patient is comfortable and after six weeks, full range of motion of the shoulder and strengthening exercises are allowed. Movement of the shoulder and the arm is not a risk factor for non-union. The fracture will probably heal and end with a small bump it is the callus of healing. A sling is the most cost-effective treatment with delayed surgery if needed. If the fracture is significantly displaced, then there is a high incidence of non-union, malunion, and this displaced fracture can cause significant persistent weakness and disability even if the fracture heals. 18% of patients in the non-operative group usually are not satisfied with the cosmetic result. Non-operative treatment could decrease the muscle endurance and the strength. In a patient with a floating shoulder, fracture of the clavicle and fracture of the scapular neck, the tendency nowadays is to give the patient a non-surgical treatment. A failed non-operative treatment may have the opportunity to have an effective treatment by fixing the non-union, but this may result in a longer recovery time. Surgical treatment. If the clavicle fracture is displaced, it's probably better to do surgery for this patient. What type of surgical treatment should be used? Usually, plates and the screws are a popular treatment method. The plates can be superior plate or entero-inferior plate. There is no major difference between the type of the plate or the location of the plate. Just make sure you have good x-rays in the operating room. Each plate has its own advantage and disadvantage. It is better to use a contoured plate with locking screw capabilities. The entero-inferior plate may be better tolerated by the patient, especially those who carry loads on their shoulders, such as a backpack. About 30% of the clavicle fixation plates are removed after the fracture has completely healed. There are other fixation techniques such as intramedullary nail or a screw through the clavicle, Watch out for migration of the hardware. Hot plate also can be used in distal fractures, a small fragment plate fixation with possible CC ligament reconstruction. It is used in the very distal clavicle fractures. Lag screws and neutralization plate used for fracture stabilization with three screws per segment. After fixation of the clavicle fracture is finished, close the incision in layers. Give the patient a sling for comfort. Avoid contact sports for about three months. The removal of the plate can be done in about one year if the patient is symptomatic. Complication of clavicle fractures, non-union, malunion, and injury to the infraclavicular nerves. What are the risk factors for non-union? Definitely not when you move the shoulder early. The risk factors are major fracture displacement, comminuted fracture, a fractured clavicle that's displaced and comminuted may have a problem in healing. 
especially if it occurs in older female patient that smokes. All these are risk factors for clavicin non-union. What is the treatment of non-union of the clavicle? Open reduction and internal fixation with plate and bone graft or bone graft substitute. Delayed fixation of non-union leads to a functional outcome similar to patients with immediate operative treatment of their clavicle fractures. Complication of clavicle fractures due to fixation. Symptomatic hardware, it is the most common complication after fixation of clavicle fracture. The patient will need reoperation for removal of the painful hardware due to irritation or prominence of the hardware. The rate of secondary surgery is high and is comparable in both groups. The operative to remove the hardware and the non-operative to fix the non-union. The open reduction and internal fixation of clavicle fracture may result in improved functional outcome, but that is still controversial. Some physicians believe that plate fixation does not improve the functional outcome in the long term, but definitely plate fixation reduces the rate of non-union compared to non-operative treatment, but it fails to reduce the risk of secondary surgery. Another complication is infraclavicular numbness. This complication occurs due to injury of the branches of the supraclavicular nerve. These are the branches of the supraclavicular nerve. In the majority of patients, there are two or three branches of the supraclavicular nerve that are crossing the clavicle with a wide location variability in the expected zone of the most common fracture location and in the expected zone of surgery. These branches span out to cover the entire clavicle subcutaneous surface. Injury to these branches may cause chest wall numbness below the incision. The injury to these branches occur due to the incision or from traction and retraction during surgery. Be aware of the presence of these branches and try to avoid injury to them during surgery. It is difficult to avoid injury to this area during surgery. There is a small safe area medially and laterally, about 2 cm from the sternoclavicular joint and about 2 cm from the AC joint. The surgeon must be careful while working in between these two safe areas to prevent transection of these branches. There is no real safe zone between the medial and the lateral branches of the supraclavicular nerve. More than one half of the patients will experience numbness around the scar after surgery and this complaint persists even one year after surgery.